sword move. Cool. If those three were here, I see this could be completely different. Yeah. Because uh, uh, Ruin, I think, is actually positive on Jazzle this season so far, or even at worst. Uh, the worst it could be, I think, is 2 2. Uh, and uh, JPEG. Is JPEG. Yeah, sure you can. <laughs> Bronze is also positive, right? That's one oh, really? I think so. It's, it's a close count with that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah that sounds like an interesting top five. Yeah, top five, top six. Yeah, definitely missing some talent here today. I was hoping for some out of stages to keep some of our possibly, really? yeah. possibly overrated PR players as uh, top eight. Yeah. I didn't know that. 3 3. Dazzle and you are 3-3. Three, three. Oh, it's crazy, I'm, guys. I'm forgetting. There are 2-2 two, two in monthlies and 1-1 one, one from Patty. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. Do you think both Ruin and JPEG could have beaten Dazzle in the winner's semis? It's definitely possible. Yep. Possible indeed. I think Rosie is uh, pretty perfect over JPEG, but they haven't been... Um, Blowouts by any means. Like they've been really close to getting by game. Yeah, the sets that uh, game over last time There's were really, really close. Game. Yeah. But they're not playing well, it. Really well, well, I'm so happy. Was JPEG at uh, game over January? Yeah, I didn't win game he game was because top two. Actually, I don't know. I don't know. Top two was dog line. No, I haven't on that turn. Right. I'm not oh, sure. I don't. Yeah, I don't think he did well actually. I think Ruin beat him that, and then I can't remember if he got top eight or not. Mario. Mario Sheik. It looks like Dazwa hates the disc now. I'm not sure if this specific matchup has ever been played. I'm, I'm a little surprised to see Mario from my this. He ran it last time in this match by the CD. I don't think he... I remember him playing in the finals, but I don't think he actually won any games. He's having a little trouble getting in right now, but if he does just get a grab or an up tilt or something, he could get big damage right here. Yeah. Here we go. Got some really good timing on those up tilts, but he gets the, uh, the yeah. challenge out of it. Yeah, does some with a quick nail like that. It seems like Ryan S just wants to do typical Mario things. Yeah. Go the grab. It's gonna be a little hard to mix it up. Oh. Oof, that almost hit. Yeah, nice attempt with the hard read. That one was a little bit of a reach, but... Ryan and Rosie starting to do the same thing from Dazzle, but unfortunately just not paying off. I'm surprised that he got a spot dodge read, because I don't think I've seen Dazzle spot dodge in top four at all yet. Really? And he just got the uh, dash dodge. Maybe he was expecting a out of field grab. Yeah. So this is a pretty big deficit right now. I. I won't say I expect a switch, but I, I hope there isn't. Um, I know Ryan Ness got the uh, Rave DK Ding Dong at about 40% of the dots left. Yeah. Yeah, you yeah, can do the match with 66% for the kill. But I actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess that. Here we go after this. I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna guess he's gonna go Sheik. Did we're gonna see, we're gonna see the ship do it. I think I think so. A pretty good sheep. I think so. If, if you went DK at this point, that'd be kind of sad. I think if Dazwood doesn't ban DK or Town of the City, that Ryan will just take that. You think? Yeah. And then because he's got a really scope. There is. Oh. Sheik. Sheik. Oh, we're seeing it, boys. There we go. You can tell Dazwood's sweating. He's like, if I lose this game, I will never be able to play this character again. You know, I think Daz was an interesting story. You know, he's almost 44 now. He's one of the oldest Smash players we know. And he's given his all here, you know. So, poor disc. Really repping that tag right now. Here we go. I'm not sure why Ryan didn't just go red cheek. Seems like he's respecting Dylan's claim to the red cheek. tough to see which one he was. Oh, uh, I guess that's true. So this actually isn't as uh, much of a blowout as it looked like a second ago. The percents are pretty even, and Ryan actually has stage control, but I'm going to do it here. 
That was a good option. That bounce was a good time to just a little bit different than the Yeah. Ryan right that's doing impressively well for someone who just started busting out Sheik. Yeah. That was a good angle on the update going to stage. Really stage. Nice pivot grab. Looking for that air dodge rating charge again. He almost died for it. I'm not gonna lie, I think this game is gonna be decided by the first stock. I'll be surprised if someone loses the first stock and then comes back. Yeah. Yeah, one big thing with Sheik is when she has a lot of rage, she becomes a really dangerous character. Um, you don't really want to get that. Oh, he got rid of the rage! Yes. It's actually a little frustrating to be Sheik with rage because a lot of your um, low knockback moves will hit them too far to combo. Oh, really? Yeah. So, but the rage is gone instantly. Zero, zero, zero. Yeah, that was probably a scene that he needed that. You know, he didn't want to lose his combo, so going back to base. Man, does was making a pretty good show of the second stock. That down air would have just been super disrespectful. I like the New England saying, there's no such thing as a disrespectful move. If it works, it works. It's true. That's why you just gotta sometimes just throw a forest matches with every character. Yep. I actually don't remember that at all. Yeah, I remember Ryan Ness mostly uh, playing for him. Pretty self selfish dude. Man. Yeah, come on. Oh, that was He's awesome. trying to steal Dylan's character. That could have been a really good screen across stage. I'm not sure if he could have gotten the floor there. Ryan really going for the most insane read really ever. That. Assuming Daz would just air dodge me. I think up smash is an underutilized move to his peak. It's got really good kill power, but I don't know. I think Dawson knows not to air dodge him. Yeah. Don't air dodge him above his sheep. And he catches very close to him though. So Dawson only needs one uh, Ryan is not winning. At this point, I'd like to see Ryan stay cheap, unless he really thinks that that didn't go well for him. He did very well. At this point, he's got so he's got a set to lose. He does that. Yeah, he does have to get a reverse three to take the set the tournament right now. I kind of like this trying something else out before the next set because if his cloud just gets gimped and like destroyed by Dalsworth, he knows not to go cloud, which. Is one of his yeah. Hopefully he doesn't run the risk of uh, picking a character and not getting used to it and then okay. tilting. So, yep. good, good job saving his jump there because if he had tried to jump out of any of those, he would have gotten hit by the next one. Yep. yep. Kind of to be expected, some really damage from Sheik, but if Ryan can stay alive a little bit, he could get, he could catch up really quick. Exactly, yeah, two moves from Cloud, and becomes an even match. You got the trade there, I'm a little surprised with the lag on that. Oh, nice. Wow, that was a really good strength. Yeah, really good. I think he reacted to the roll for that. I think he waited for Ryan to move, and then hit the target on that. Like Alright, Ryan's gonna have to do a lot of catching up with I don't know if it's a bad match if I just don't like it. Ooh, this that was, was a good spot. Why? Right. Hold He's on. Going, he uh, went really no, deep. Wow. I'm surprised. Uh, Dazzle would just miss the punish. He went for a jab after that forwarder, missed it, and ended up losing the spot. Ryan's getting caught in high on the stage here. He seems to be trying to like jump over to the middle and not let him get there. Yeah. But I do want to say that that last stock ending hit from Ryan Nesbitt was really cool. That was a dangerous play to be in. He had almost a double limit to get back. Why, you're going to pick somebody specifically for Diddy? Because you know I'm not going to play Diddy. Really? You're going to play it? Really? It's making so much fun to upset everybody. Oof, that was close. Yeah. So I'm wondering if this is really easy, because we remember that Dazwa had that huge percent move last time, and yeah. Ryan has brought it back super fast, just like, just like Cloud can. But now the percents are really even early on, and Ryan has a little bit of a lead right now. Yeah, so he's getting stage control too. Very important. So as Dazwa builds up rage, like I said, it could be harder to get those combos for Sheik. Good tech. Oh my gosh. Wow, and that's it. Ryan went so deep for that. So, no limit for Ryan. I'm the worst. 
Dosma is still in a range where he can get like 50 keys off of Corona's or Corridors. If he's a hard read! It definitely feels like even though Ryan has, you know, slightly more percent lead, he, he feels so much in the middle in terms of just controlling this game. Yeah. So Dosma needs to be, it's going to be a little tough for Dosma right now. He needs a good confirm, like a super down tilt, uh, mayor dodge rate, something like that, where Ryan just really needs one good hit. One good hit. Like yeah. a downer like that, higher up on the screen, would just end up stopping. Are you kidding me? How dare you? No. How dare you? Oh, he got the double hit. That was really good for him. That was so <laughs> sick. Ryan Ness missed the second dodge. There is a chance that he didn't do that on purpose and she just did it on a map. Yeah, that's either 50 50 though, on purpose. We'll give it to him. Can we do it? That's a bracket reset. Bracket reset. Yep. You can't get me. I don't think Ryan, I mean, I mean, I would hope Ryan at this point understands that that set wasn't, oh, go on Donkey Kong, wow. And, uh, on final destination. This is a pretty good stage for Sheik, a lot of Sheik made the stage. I'm pressing buttons from Sheik! Yeah, okay. I'm actually surprised he's going, or I guess they would have mentioned this, but. Good walk, I like that. Is this just the second one? No, that's, so that's just regular. Yeah, I'm not sure. So I think he's just trying to use the main club. No one's combos, but it does super unsafe. It's really good to do, so. Yeah, right. Especially high percents, you can use it to get out of situations. But low percents like this. No. It's getting some good. Wow, that was a little really down to that. I'm surprised. Ryan right now is just making really good option selects. Yeah. And the fact that Dodge this is an even more extreme. Than this side matchup, where Dodgewood really needs to be an edge to pursue. He gets. And this is where we're at. We might see the point here. And that's gonna do it. Oh my gosh. She is, she is so light. It's such. It, you can be winning the whole time and you can literally die off the point of the But it's really good at Dodgewood. Yeah. She could be around, even without rage, she could be around for something like 70%. That was really good. I remember the, I went to MCG Arena and I didn't get to play the series, but I was watching him with all the dogs and that was, he did that so much. He would drop off and do the bounce a bit. I'm glad to see him do it again. I haven't, I'm really glad he's just playing Sheik right now. Yeah, he's doing a crazy job at 39 now. This is one of the difficulties of playing FD against a Sheik. You just get juggled so easily. There's nowhere safe. There's nowhere to go. She can needle you if you try to keep away from her, and she can just juggle you if you can't land the platforms. I was getting all of the confirms, but... Good job on Ryan delaying his up there a little bit. It's not gonna do it. Yep. No, but... But one more grab is gonna do it. I think he might be in Ding Dong percent. Yeah, he is. Right now. He's, he's in Ding Dong percent, so at this point, if Ryan really wants to go for it, he's just gonna go for grabs. I don't think Daz was gonna mess up right here, though. It's a better position Ryan for Ryan. trying to mix it up. No. Oh, oh, he's back on stage. This is pretty scary. This could be it. That could is be he out of percent? He was oh, just out of range. I'm so happy. Oh my god. He charged the S-Match and Dodge like, didn't realize what was going on. Ryan, you are a, a, a creative human being. Yeah, that was, I appreciate I mean, your I work. Really, I didn't mentally, like, I'm not sure if I would say that was genius or luck. I think he was just trying to Yeah. I'm not sure if Ryan's gonna go Kirby against Dazla. Yeah. I kinda like um, Ryan staying DK. I don't know if um, I like Dazla staying cheap. Yeah. If he if he gets DK to go, but the battlefield is pretty good for him. It's a big class, so, so edge guarding still works with the stage. I mean, he's gonna be just as far away from the stage, but it's gonna be really hard for Ryan to get him off. Yeah. I'm actually kinda surprised he went Battlefield here. A lot of DK players say that Battlefield is really bad against heavy combo characters. Yeah, because he can just, he can literally forward tilt him up on the platforms and just run yeah. him off the ladder. Here we go. It's happening right now. Yeah. I'm curious as to what it is. Might have just... So, this is that percent lead that Dazma needs yeah. to not get. I mean, if he gets grabbed twice at this point, he will die. <laughs> but, um, he's looking pretty good right now. Exactly, that's why Ryan is... I, I think it's good that Ryan picks DK he knows that in situation. He still has a chance of just getting a few grabs and winning. Just three I got a total thing. 
this could be a, this could be a big thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's still not in kill percent from the grab though. Max Ray is done double sheep to the Dong in around like 45. Yep, here we go. So here this it is. This could, it could happen. He might actually be. Uh, he might actually be at too high of a percent now. Yeah, it, it'd be close. It'd be close. I said two games. Oh man, that was scary. He hit Ryan's shield a couple times there and he could have gotten grabbed. Is this right? The score? Yeah, it's a bracket reset, Ryan. That's one game. Oh, okay. Oh, right, right. That was a good bomb and good. There wow, was barely magnet mags. So, honestly, it says, oh, there we go. Finally, yeah. Dylan gets a good lead. Yeah, that's that's an insane mm -hmm. lead for him. Good job from Dawes. Ryan S. Moran needs to find his way in here and get a quick kill. Uh, JPEG, Ryan S. went um, sheep one game, he went cloud another Mario game, game and Mario, yeah, he went Mario game one. He lost his Mario, lost his sheep, won his cloud, and then. I don't remember. I don't know what happened, but. So here we go, Ryan still just needs a couple grabs and he can still get the kill. Yeah, especially with this rage. Yo, sports, I have your headphones. That's I'm gonna be one of those here, watch out for rage commentators here because this matchup is so volatile. Oh my gosh, yeah, scary. you definitely don't want to go up against a DK with rage. You know, he becomes <laughs> a scary character once he gets rage. Wow, and we're gonna work. That's usually not used uh, anywhere on stage at all, but I mean, it work. Here we go. Right, next to one, jab, one jab, and this could be it. Yeah, because that'd be it. Oh, missed attack. Unfortunate. Nice back air. Nice back air. It's like he banned the Um, We'll see. We'll see. I think he banned it last time, because maybe maybe Ryan was saving the DK for this set. I want to know how those, those, uh, those major tournaments figure out. You know, Have you ever seen those major tournaments where they display the uh, stage strikes going on? Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't mean they just have a dude right sitting right next to them going, what you do? What you pick? Yeah. So this is interesting. Oh, you get some huge percent off of combos here. See, I don't even feel like Dylan really necessarily made Ryan go off of DK. No, he I should have just. Maybe it was off the stage. Maybe he knew that uh, this was banned and that he would be picked it because of the maybe the up throw on that middle platform. Not going for the corner. No, he's a, I think he kind of does that a lot though. Is Kirby? He's self-proclaimed innovative, but he really is because he does things differently than a lot of Kirby's. Yep. And I think that those downers not working might just be due to how fast he's falling. Maybe Ryan has this time for match of experience to know that. Yeah, I agree with you, Disc. Dazzle certainly seems like he's feeling himself. Yeah, Dazzle looking pretty good. Not worried about that tiny hitbox. He's just running around and hitting Kirby when he can. Because, I mean, it's been a minute and barely 100% done. Ryan just told me if he wins, he's treating me however I want. That's beautiful. Isn't that fun, dude? Yes. I some of us do not want to go to Red Robin because we want to make the drive back to Bangor without adding an extra half hour or quarter hour. Oh, yeah, it would be a half hour after. Yeah. yeah. So, Dazwa has Lap Ryan S. It's pretty scary. I don't know. I really kind of don't like that he pulled out the Kirby because he had that first set to test and he saw that Cloud was out and he's done well with DK so far. So I really would have liked to see just Cloud and DK maybe in this set. Yeah, it didn't, it didn't really feel like that's why I necessarily figured out DK or at least enough to uh, offset the Dignal. No, so I'm thinking that this was just Ryan Ness looking for some kind of stage gimmick with Kirby here. Like an early up throw off that top platform, which was pretty early, but not a good decision. It's like, yeah, he's just throwing out a lot of smashes, he's getting punished for a lot of things. Dog was getting pretty creative too now, he's getting those drag down up there. He's just got a big lead and he can do pretty much whatever he wants. Yeah, he's down with Ryan. There it is, I love and, that. And also just doing cheap things. Yep, yeah. So it is gonna... This is, Okay, he's alive. So this is the point where Dog has raised, so his moves have higher knockback. 
and Ryan Ness is at high percent, so he's gonna be flying away further when he gets hit. So Dazzle needs a really specific kill confirm or a read right now to get a kill. It's just kind of playing Sheik is an interesting game. It's a little bit different, it's just kind of a, a lot more technical. Ooh, he so far for that. He got the trump, but Ryan Ness will for that rule. There we go, Ryan. Now, Kirby with Rage is a character you don't want to deal with. You want to get rid of that Rage as fast as possible. Yeah. Alright, so Ryan Ness is looking really good on this second stock. He honestly doesn't need that much more. Should this be the punish? Dash stack almost taking it. I think F tilt um, might be taking it pretty soon here for Nozla. Yeah. Because even forward air is sending him that far across the stage. Yeah, forward air on the side of the stage would do that. Yeah, yeah. Ryan Ness unlucky at the ledge with probably a the stock right now. Dash stack is getting closer to killing off the top even right now. No confirm off that. Well, at this point, Ryan Ness doesn't have to feel bad about taking any hits. It's essentially just a game of, of can I outlast everything that he's doing. He's also getting hit by that puppy at the ledge a lot. Maybe there are some things to this matchup that Ryan Ness wasn't exploiting early that he's got going for him. Alright, until Dylan figures that out, it's just going to be 3%. What was that 1-1? One, one? Yeah. Oh, the footstool is really That's gonna, good Oh! He barely makes it back. Oh, looks like he got him. Uh, it was a good attempt. Yep. No, I'm he went kind of all in on that one. I think, I think if he got up through in the middle of the stage, Gazza would have died. Yeah. I think that the platform is just so high. Yeah, I'm not sure if there's anything to do with Blazer Blazer, that is the joke. Rage. We know that nobody is okay. good to play against with Rage. So that was uh, Dawson 1. Alright, we got Mr. Ryan Ness. Oh, yeah, Back to DK. Last turn of the game for him, essentially. Yep, he's on his uh, tournament team right now. Dawson has got the reset. He's built a really nice lead for him. That is what proven you can still be 40 and win Smash Bros. But yeah, you're right. Proving you can still be 40. Hey, proving you can still be 28. Yep. So that was some uh, pretty good ledge play from both of them dancing around each other looking for some creative hits. But like that, they're really just trying to get some early stocks. Ryan being incredibly impatient for a yeah. character that's a looking, potentially ding dong person. Looking for down airs and stuff like that. It just seems a little, uh, a little old. Yeah. I'm not sure what he's even attempting to read there. So, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that um, Dreamland actually has a big ceiling. It's just that top platform that makes uh, characters die early up the top. Um, so, I'm not sure if DK is really a great pick. They haven't been playing on the platforms a lot. That's okay, Ryan. Yeah, hopefully nothing gets in his head here and he can uh, get the grabs. Okay. He's definitely just looking for that one. Right? Here. I'm not sure if that's an error this half or wow. Is that okay. Bear, he Ryan is escaping death on a couple of these. It is the same as Smash for the, the platforms are just higher. Yes, Ryan. Okay. So it's not a big ceiling, but it's not a low ceiling like town and city. A lot of people who can kill off the top will go here like Med Knight, but um, it doesn't seem to be great since like I said they have a plank on the bottom. So, there we go. I thought Ryan Dazzle needs a big edge guard here. Yeah, I think he's good. doing a good job with it so far. I thought Dazzle was going to be Nice ledge run. Really good over his He hasn't done that yet either. He's, I mean, he's come to the ledge at the same time, but he deliberately dropped the ledge. Right this could be it. Oh, a good attempt by Ryan. That attempt. would have been really scary. A lot of damage. Okay. So, Pretty good coverage with that mirror, but that's oh. it. Yeah. And good yeah. games by Dazzle and Ryan. Yep. Yeah. That's the good Miniature pop off from Mr. Milky Cookies himself, Dazwa. Yeah. That's what you said earlier when I said about um, something you could in Good job, Dylan Hayes. You are the number one player in Maine right now, currently. 